In this video, we are going to demonstrate the carpal compression test for carpal tunnel syndrome. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. The definitive diagnosis of carpal tunnel syndrome requires nerve conduction testing and or EMG testing. But these are costly and not readily available to many clinicians. Therefore, physical examination tests such as the Tunnell sign and Phelan's test have been developed, but they don't yield high accuracy. More recently, the carpal compression test was proposed and showed higher diagnostic accuracy over the Tinel sign and Phelan's test. In 2016, Almazi Dogay reported a sensitivity of 80.6 and a specificity of 52.9%, which translates to rather poor likelihood ratios and which is why we still regard the clinical value as weak. To conduct the test, the patient's forearm is supinated and the examiner compresses the carpal tunnel between the thenar and hypothenar eminence for 30 seconds. The test is considered positive if symptoms such as paresthesia, numbness, and dull pain in the median nerve territory are reproduced. All right, thanks for watching this short video. You can check the playlist on my left to watch how the other tests mentioned in this video are performed. If you want a collection of physical assessments that's updated regularly, check out our assessment ebook or app. And to learn even more, visit our courses website. Links are in the video description down below. Last but not least, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. This was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you in another video. Bye.